Season five is a, was a huge, huge, huge uh, milestone for the show Supernatural because it, it actually wrapped up what Supernatural set out to do. It, the original plan for Supernatural was a five series, five season show. And so we started this big story which had so many different levels and was so complex and season five is where it all finishes. Um, and so we had Sam, my personal favorite was that my character found out that he had to be the vessel for Lucifer. And that was a really strange kind of realization for Jared where I was like, wait a second, like I signed on another show five years ago and now I find out I'm gonna be the devil for a little bit. It was really strange, but it was kind of, you know, you're telling the story about good versus evil and, and Satan versus uh, angels. And it was, uh, it was nice to, to see how it all came together. And I love, I love like the return of the Jedi, the last book of Harry Potter, where you see all these stories that have started finally get a chance to, to combine and mix together. And, and um, that was sort of my favorite, just the culmination of all these, of all these events. Yeah, um, I, I will say kind of on the same lines that there's, you know, just this, this big climactic culmination of all of these stories that, that we've kind of peppered and filtered into the, the show over the past, you know, five years is, is all kind of coming to a head. Um, and it's nice to see how uh, the things that, that seem so mundane and, and in seasons past actually came into play and meant something, and meant something in, in, you know, in the end. And uh, so that was kind of cool. It, it was also a big, it was a big season for, for Dean because up to this point, uh, Dean has really kind of been, um, you know, the, 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 the bystander to the big picture, which is Sam is the chosen one for uh, the vessel of the Lucifer. And, you know, to this point, Dean has kind of been the one who's been trying to, uh, you know, to save Sam and to, uh, you know, to be there to, to guide him and to, and to keep him from going evil and, and, um, and has never been a part of that mythology. But in season five, we learned that Dean is now a crucial part of the mythology. And before then, he never really had had, had that purposeful meaning in the storyline, um, aside from just being the brother. And so I, I think that that, that really um, played well as far as uh, motivation for both characters, because now you've got, uh, you know, you've got Sam and, and his destiny kind of lined up, and it plays into the whole mythology thing. But then now you have Dean, who is, all of a sudden now he's a giant part of this of this story as well so um, it's it's good we can try to tease for season six a little bit as we just talked about season five really wraps up what season one started and what season two and three and four fleshed out and so season six we kind of had to go a whole new direction and we sort of go back to uh, how the show originally started which is you know, we're hunting vampires and demons and werewolves and ghouls and shapeshifters. And we find out that after the apocalypse started and then after Lucifer and uh, Michael sort of were dispatched or whatever happened to them, uh, we find out that things in, in heaven and hell aren't what they seem necessarily and that there are, other, there are other factors coming into play. And we find out that the vampires and werewolves and all the ghouls and goblins that we've been fighting for 110 episodes, they're actually leaders of each individual creature, like the alpha vamp, like the original vampire, you know, like where did it come from? And, and we figure out that we need to hunt these guys down and maybe that might have um, some meaning in our ultimate goal of ridding the world of, of what's evil. It's supernatural, the bonus round. Yeah, yeah, supernatural. <laughs> No. no, no, we'd have to do the ritual too often if we had to yeah, do it every time. Yeah, every day we'd have to, you know, get up and do some sort of seance in, in order to ward plus, off the, the yeah. stuff that we're dealing with. Yeah, plus in season five, I was Lucifer, so I don't know if there's really a ritual that could kind of... Yeah, how do you uh, ward that off? I don't know how you ward that off when you have to play Lucifer for a few days, so uh, maybe we should have. Maybe that would have helped some things, but... I don't. I mean, I guess, I guess we have routines a little bit. I mean, in the morning, I try and go for a little jog and read my stuff for the day and really just kind of focus on it. And he and I were usually on the way to work, go, go over the script and go over what we have for the day and through our scenes. And so kind of. We yeah. Run, yeah, we'll run dialogue in the, in the hair and makeup hair trailer and while we're, you know, getting ready for, for the shoot. Yeah. And, uh, so that's, you know, a after, after this many, it, that, that kind of preparation time needed 
isn't, it just kind of gets less and less and less because we've done it so much yeah. that it's like, we don't need a, a day to prepare for, you know, this scene. It's like, we need 10 minutes, give us 10 minutes. Right. So, that's nice. I don't really think so. I mean, the I think success of the show. Yeah, the success of the show. I guess. <laughs> yeah, the fact that uh, we're now animated is, is pretty supernatural to me. That, that is a that is a phenomenon. Had you told me this when I was in high school, I would have yeah. called you a liar. But um, no, not necessarily. Yeah, no, we've we've been pretty, uh, you know, um, kind of ghost-free, I guess, on yeah. the set. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the ones that are in makeup. Yeah. I think you get to do a lot more awesome, cool things in animation than you can in reality. I just watched uh, the, our first episode, and it's phenomenal. And there's so many cool visual effects, and there's so many cool stories you can tell that you couldn't logistically tell in real life. Um, like there are things you can do with Sam and Dean that you just can't do when they're human beings, uh, you know. And so that was exciting for me. I was actually watching it kind of excited, like as a fan, like, "Ooh, that was so cool! Like, look at Sam! Like, he's cool! Look at Dean! Dean's cool too!" So. Um, that was really fun for me. And then obviously the fact that it's, it's made off of our show is, is just really flattering. And it might also lend itself to, you know, opening its, uh, you know, opening up the door to a whole new set of fans. Right. You know, people that, that watch, that are big anime uh, fans, you know, they might watch this and be like, wow, this is really, I like these characters. I like this storyline. I like this kind of genre of, yeah. uh, of show. Um, let's, you know, let's see what the live action one looks yeah. like. Join the knows? supernatural world. Yeah. It's difficult to capture the raw, rugged handsomeness um, <laughs> and, of uh, me, but they did it well. So. <laughs> so good thing they didn't have to for Jensen. Um, no, no. It's cool, you know. I mean, they. I, I said earlier. I, I think they. I think they fit Sam and Dean very well. Yeah. You know, I. I, I look at that. and I'm like, okay, well, that's. That's not. That doesn't look like me. But it really fits Dean, and it looks like a good Dean. I think it's a great, it's a, it's a shout out to the live action. It's a shout out to, you know, cause you can tell, you can tell it looks like Sam and Dean, um, but they've, they've done it, it properly to the genre. To right. where they got rid of all my zits, they got rid of <laughs> all the uh, imperfections in my face, they, they cleared up real nicely, so I'm, I'm grateful. Um, Which took months, Took months by to the do. Um, but uh, it's a great looking, cool character that fits the genre. I've seen some anime before and, um, you know, very cool jagged lines and very like distinct features. So it was cool. It was like, damn, like comic Jared is pretty cool looking. <laughs> if only. Um, so I'm very excited with it. Um, I've seen I've seen bits and pieces. I mean, I don't I don't necessarily seek it out and I don't own it, but I've I've seen um, I've seen bits here and there. You know. Um, I'd actually, I'm actually excited about it now, having um, watched a whole episode of something, granted it was Supernatural, but I'm actually like, this is kind of cool, and they, can, they really tell a cool visual story. And even in watching the episode, I noticed shout outs to our old episodes, and I was like, wow, like, this is a cool visual, for somebody who's interested in kind of visual storytelling, I think it's a really nice medium to, to become aware of. I will say it, it exceeded what I thought it would, would right. look like. Yeah, um, big time. You know, I, I don't know. The animation that I'm familiar with is you know, Family Guy and The Simpsons. So. Yeah, <laughs> South Park. Um, so, you know, looking at this, it's just like, wow. That not only is, is the, um, you know, the animation itself very good and believable. The and, and the details are fantastic. Phenomenal. But but even the direction, the camera movements, the you know, the way that the story is told through, you know, through the, the, the I guess... Visual storytelling. Through, yeah, I mean, the, the, through, through what we consider the lens. Right. It, it's very in the same vein of what we shoot and how we shoot and, and what is supernatural. And I think that that was, that was really cool. And I, I, we watched it in Japanese. It's not yet subtitled. And I think we both felt like still we were got apart. The story. Like we got, understood the story. We understood what was going on. We understood... Just from the, visual, the visualization and, and, and how yeah. they told the story kind of through yeah. the... Totally through the audience's mind, yeah.
geez, I mean, season one was full of them just because those seasons to me, I mean, looking back five, six years later, those seasons to me were the beginning of what's become such a big part of my life. Um, I mean, the pilot, I always go back to the pilot. I love the episode Skin, which is the shapeshifter one that we kind of touch on in this anime one. And that's what I've always said. I've been like, I always remember, because I love the dynamic of two brothers kind of going at it and mm -hmm. not trusting each other and who are you, who am I, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so uh, the, the pilot obviously will always stick out and, and Skin will always stick out from season one. You know, I don't know. I think that's one of those things that I, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted and, and flattered that they've decided to turn Supernatural into an animated series. I wish I had some answer as to why it was happening. I just, it's sort of like a really lucky, cool thing that I'm so happy to, to be a part of. But I don't know. I mean, I guess it, it touches such a, such a wide variety of, of viewers. And Supernatural, the story, though kind of about Sam and Dean and these two brothers in our relationship, is also full of... Like mythology and you know the reluctant hero and good versus evil and the friendly beast and it's it's full of these um, these elements that are critical in storytelling and universal um, and so I think that's why it has such a massive audience and why they're able to sort of it, it, they've also taken a show that you know we tell a great story we have great special effects and visual effects and makeup effects but we're 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 still a TV show we're not a movie so we don't have necessarily the budgets to really tell it with CGI and stuff, but here in this animated format, we can tell the stories um, full out and, and, you know, you get to see things that you wouldn't be able to see in live action. I also think you can't deny the fact that, um, you know, when this show first started in well, 2005, that was really the, the, the influx of the, the Japanese horror movies uh, right. being remade in the Ring, what, the Ring and, all of those, you know, the, the what is it, the Tale of Two Sisters, or, you know, there's, the, that is a big, big uh, genre for, for Japanese uh, um, fans. You know, they love that kind of storytelling. They love, they love horror movies, they love thriller movies, they love the suspense, they love that thing. So it's a, it's a big market in Japan. So to me, it, in that sense, it kind of makes sense that, that this show that kind of encapsulates that, that plays to that, to that genre of, of, of filmmaking, um, gets the nod as the first anime. Uh, you know, I think that, that that was one of the reasons why you know, the show is so um, well received in Japan is because it plays in that genre, and that is a big, big genre in Japan. Um, so I, I think that, that that might have a little something to do with it as well.